So if you have mold in your house or you want to take humidity out of the air, everybody knows humidity in the air is not good. It, it has mold. Well, you should have a dehumidifier in here. But let me show you the plants that help to take humidity out of the air while putting moisture into the air and cleaning your air as well. So the peace lily. The peace lily is absolutely beautiful to keep in your bathrooms. They require low light and they also suck up a lot of moisture. So your bathrooms are always damp and you know, so peace lily. Peace lily is a perfect plant for your bathroom. And the next thing we have is the snake plant. The snake plant is equally good for drawing in moisture and then English ivy and also palm trees, palm trees. This is one of the reason that I keep the pony palm, the pony palm, any kind of palm tree. We have a fish tank in our home. You know what I do with the fish water? I use it to fertilize my plants. Fish water is one of the greatest uh, plant foods on the planet because of them pooping, their poopy water, excellent. It will keep your plants healthy all year long. Now, so many people have asked to have a tour of my plant table, so let's do it. These are, these are spider plants. These are great for cleaning and purifying the air. The spider plants, the little babies, you can take off and you can propagate them and make new spider plants. So these are forevermore. You can have tons of spider plants. Another spider plant. And then this is a cross between a rose and a hydrangea, I believe. My husband got me that for Valentine's Day and it's absolutely beautiful. And then this is part of the family that I call plants of steel. These are low maintenance, low light. As you know, we live in a bunker, but my husband did put up this sun lamp on the top of the plants to keep them healthy. So this one is doing wonderful. And then this is an Alanomas. And I'm not sure what this one is, but this one is a really big plant. My husband rescued it from the plant dump. And it was in really bad shape when we got it, but it has really flourished here. We repotted it. And then of course I have my aloe vera, super important. My pony palm to help moisture, keep moisture down. This is the Diffenbaffia. This is another beautiful one for cleaning your air. And then this is a yucca cane. This is a yucca cane plant. This one requires high light, but it's also low maintenance. But like I said, my husband put a sun lamp, sun lights up there, so my plants are fine. And then there's another snake plant. This is a dotty plant. These are called trending tropicals. My husband got that for me. This is a peace lily. This is a pahira money tree. Everybody should have a money tree in their home. This is what it is. This is a pachira money tree. And this also requires high light. We live in a bunker, but I have the sunlight up there. And then this is one we rescued.